Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. This morning, I'm gonna run an exterior circuit right through the wall here. And this should be what I need to do the job. I'm running one on that outlet and there's a mirror outlet back here. I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way temporarily and get that one wired up as well. I don't know if there's even insulation back there, which would be a bonus. So what I got to do, I've seen on other YouTube channels where they're wiring up exterior outlets and basically all they're doing is drilling a hole through the wall and screwing the box on and then just running the wire right through that into the hole in the wall. Sometimes a goober um, silicone on the back there. That is not how to do it. What you gotta do is put a nipple on it and then drill your hole big enough so that you can foam. And then once you got this coming through the wall, then you foam that up to seal it. And then you run a bead of, of uh, silicone across the top just to keep water from dripping back there. Just an added bonus. And then you actually put these little caps on the back here so that your wire isn't in contact with the burr back here. So that's about it. So what I gotta do is pull this piece of insulation out and then I got to run a wire from this box over, drill through, and then on the outside there's furring strips right where each one of these studs are. I have to add on to the side of the furring strip, which is semi-difficult, and then drill a hole through that, and then get my box and tube and stuff in there. So I'm going to start out in here, and then I'll be working out there as well. Okay, so we have these two blocks. This is going to butt up against the furring strip on the outside and it's going to go approximately right there. This is an inch and a half wide. The furring strip is two inches wide, so there is about a quarter inch hanging over. And then right in the center of this will be a hole that that pipe's going to go through. So I got to do some measuring. I'm going to drill a hole to the outside through the house wrap. Then I'm going to open up the house wrap and screw this onto the outside. I'm going to put a little bit of a bead of silicone along the top and then this gets screwed right to the foam and the screw heads should pop through in here. And then I got to mount the box to it and then my pipe should stick in here and then I can start running wire.
Okay, what I'm doing here is just marking off where the backer plate is going to go. Because I want to, uh, I want to tape this back to the backer plate once it's installed. Because I don't want UV light getting to the foam. That's the only reason this, this house wrap is on here is to keep the UV light from the foam. I have to seal the top. This is the, the drainage plane, so water will come down if it gets behind the siding. Water will drain down behind here. This will not be here. The siding will be in its place. So I don't want water getting behind any of the blocking. So it's sealed at the top. All right, now it can be screwed on. Now a little bit of silicone here and at the top. And around the screw holes. And that should do it. Smooth the silicone. Now, just tape up these loose ends. In this case, this house wrap is coming off of here and siding will come on to these furring strips and that will get screwed right to this backer plate right here and just butt right up against the box. Well, it'll have a J-channel on it. J-channel around the box and the siding will go into that. So what I'm doing here is just keeping this, keeping the sunlight off of the foam and keeping the house wrap from ripping in the wind. So I'm just sealing up the loose ends. All right, the rest of it's on the inside. All right, here we are on the inside. We have four screws sticking way into this bay. They can't remain that way. I'm going to cut them off flush. And then this gap around here, normally I would foam that, but it's kind of close on the side. And I don't want to go through the hassle of hooking up the gun. I don't have a, a, like a small can or anything. I only had the one that I used yesterday. So I'm just going to use that same silicone and seal up around the inside then put that cap on and then I can wire it over to the box.
Okay, that's gonna wrap it up. So that is how you install an outdoor outlet with a rain screen wall system. And I did two of them. So tomorrow I will be wiring for a mini split and I don't know if I can pre-drill the holes or not. I'm gonna see if I can. If I can't, I'll just get the wire up there to where it needs to be. And then we'll have to get this drywalled before I can get that wired up. But the circuit is right behind here. I have that three wire going down to here and it's gonna split up there and then go back up to there. And I will show you that tomorrow. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you give the video a like and or share it, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.